known for their spinners and this one is a fun whimsical take it's the animal fan spinner this is also brand new for 2020 season um, we've got three different options for you this is on easy pay it's bright it's colorful it's everything we love about plow and hearth and it can work front yard or backyard and it's just going to make you smile i know i already am i love flamingo decorating yeah and this is like the flamingo of all flamingos right. together. If you're going to have a flamingo in your yard, <laughs> I think it should be spinning around here. And I believe we might be down to just the flamingo. <gasps> did we sell out a peacock and I rooster? Think we did. My I think we goodness, did. Goodness, they didn't last very long, I did know. they, Nancy? I, they My did apologies, not. Apologies, everybody. You love Plow and Hearth spinners. And what I love about Plow and Hearth is that they're always coming up with new designs. They're always giving you great quality spinners because of their engineering. Not only is it cute, but it also is engineered These to spin feathers. beautifully. They created the, the middle spinner portion to make it like it's a fan, and that's the body of it. And while you're looking at it there, I want you to see all the beautiful colors. You've got a, sort of a speckling there, and then you've got the orange ombre into a very bright pink, as you would imagine, with a flamingo. And then that's going to spin. If you're looking at the tail back here, I want you to notice not only did that they do that beautiful speckling and, and ombre paint, but also there are jewels on here. So when the sun hits this, you're going to get just a little bit of a sparkle with the jewels mm. on there. You're also seeing the texturing that's done from embossing. Then going over to the head that's near Stacy there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. You can just imagine this standing in a little pond, you know, <laughs> being uh, so beautifully bright and pink. There's hammering in there. So much work that Plow and Hearth this. puts into each one of these. They're really an artistic piece. And then the embossing to create those feathers. Really magnificent. Gorgeous pops of fuchsia pink and that bright orange, the colors of a sunset mm -hmm, is true. what I think. So think about, you know, that, that sunset over the bay or the tropical waters. That's what this reminds me of. And then if you're that fun person, if you're the person who loves to throw the parties, if you're the one who loves to have, you know, happy hour, it's somewhere, happy hour every day, somewhere, right. right? It's gotta <laughs> yes. be five o'clock. I mean, this is for you. It's a celebration of just fun and life. Now the flamingo stands about 57 inches tall. Yes. About 30 inches wide from breast to tail. Right, exactly. So as you're coming down, I do want you to see, we've kind of described the beauty of it up above here, but here you're wondering, how does it stick in the ground? So I'll show you. As you come down, you've got this beautiful metal work, even like some scrolling here. So if you're having some flowers that maybe are coming up here, it still looks pretty. You've got the stakes down here. They're going to be about seven inches in the ground. We have styrofoam here. That's what our dirt is. So it only goes about two inches right now into the ground. I would recommend that you step it into the ground about to this crossbar right here. There's two H's. So your assembly is just the bottom portion, top here, putting the head and tail on, and that's it. And then with spinners, mm -hmm. I always say, think about where you would like to see this from inside right now, because mm -hmm. most of us are still probably spending more time inside than we are outside. Think about the corner of your house and then go out from there, because then you're gonna take advantage of wind kind of coming from both sides. Um, you know, both directions, and then see how Mother Nature is treating that area and how your spinner's doing. If it's not spinning the way you would like to see it, because you never know what Mother Nature is gonna do with wind. I'd take it up and I'd move it to another location. If you're someone that doesn't have a lot of uh, property or a garden to be able to stick it in, you can always put it in a flower pot. Mm -hmm. Especially, that's perfect if you live in an apartment life yes. and you have a deck, yes. you know, maybe you're 10 stories up, 20, who knows where you're living, or just even on the second floor. You get to have garden art mm -hmm. as well. And I have to tell you, on the back of the flamingo, even on the fan of the spinner, the back, it's hot pink. Mm -hmm. So you're still getting a burst of these beautiful colors from behind, yes. which is what I love because they could have left it black. They painted it all around. It is absolutely stunning, but here's the deal. We sold out of the two other choices that we had, the rooster that you'll see here in a minute and the peacock. So if you want the flamingo, fewer than 550 to go around, then it is gone. We just brought this in for 2020. Spinners give you movement. Look at that with a good gust of wind. It'll spin that fast. Yes. It's not going to take a lot. The only reason why um, Nancy keeps spinning it around is we have no air circulation here in the studio. 
but this is going to give you amazing movement that is really instantly relaxing, but this burst of color for celebration. So again, do you have a koi pond? Um, put this next to any body of water. The flamingo makes sense, right? It does. If you were a yep. Florida gal and you miss living in Florida, bring your flamingos to you up in the Northeast or That's in the right. cold. Maybe you're in the Midwest. You have your flamingo, a flamingo that will never lose its color, will never fly away. Um, and just to me, if you love to throw the tiki parties <laughs> and the happy hour, yes. you need this by the pool around, you know, um, uh, maybe just a great accent piece because if we have our heart, our pool equipment, and we have it kind of fenced in and we throw a couple of shrubs, it's like a boring space. You need Put to a have spinner that there. color and a spinner. Spinner's always going to be joyful. It's going to be something that draws your eye and really <laughs> makes your garden stand out. So I think no garden should be with without a spinner because they just add so much life. There you go, a, a daiquiri and some Jimmy Buffett tunes and your flamingo. That's right. Instant party, Nancy <laughs> Brandmuller. Thank you Thank so you, much Stacey. for another great hour of fun I know, heart. I love having Mondays with you. I know, let's do it again sometime Sounds soon. Sounds great. All right, have a great